Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about rhinosporidiosis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Rhino means nose and sporidia denotes the spores produced by fungi. Rhinosporidiosis is a chronic granulomatous disease caused by rhinosporidium sievery. It affects both man and animals. Now let us see about the epidemiology of rhinosporidiosis. Rhinosporidiosis is common in India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan. In India, it is more common in southern states. Now let us see about the etiology of rhinosporidiosis. Rhinosporidiosis is caused by rhinosporidium sievery, an organism which is difficult to classify. Some people consider it as a fungus and some people consider it as a protist. Rhinosporidium sievery has not been cultured so far, so it has not been possible to transfer the disease to experimental animals. Rhinosporidium sievery is acquired through contaminated water of ponds. Now let us see about the life cycle of rhinosporidium sievery. Rhinosporidium sievery has a trophic stage from which sporangia develop. This sporangia gives rise to endospores. These endospores again develop into the trophic stage. What are the sites of rhinosporidiosis? Rhinosporidiosis mostly affects nose and nasopharynx. Other sites include lip, palate, conjunctiva, epiglottis, larynx, trachea, bronchi, skin, vulva and vagina. How does the case of rhinosporidiosis present to you? Rhinosporidiosis presents as a leafy polypoidal mass pink to purple in color and attached to the nasal septum or lateral wall. The mass is very vascular and bleeds easily on touch. Its surface is studded with white dots representing the sporangia of fungus. What are the symptoms of rhinosporidiosis? Unilateral nasal obstruction, epistaxis, local pruritus, rhinorrhea, coryza with sneezing, postnasal discharge with cough and foreign body sensation are the chief symptoms of rhinosporidiosis. There will be history of exposure to contaminated water. On examination, a pink to deep red polypus is seen. It has a strawberry-like appearance and it bleeds easily upon manipulation. This is our case of rhinosporidiosis presents to you. On histopathology, several round or oval sporangia are seen. Spores are seen bursting through its chitinous wall. This is a classic slide of rhinosporidiosis. How do you treat a case of rhinosporidiosis? Surgery is the treatment of choice. Complete excision of the mass with diathermy knife and cauterization of its base is the treatment of choice. Recurrence can occur. Medical treatment with Dapson has been tried but its efficacy is not yet proven. Thank you.